The image of the mustard seed is one of the most celebrated and famous in all of Scripture. It's found in multiple places in all of the Gospels. This tiny little seed that when planted in the ground that comes to fruition becomes this giant shrub that overtakes absolutely everything around it. And Jesus tells us that this is the character of the kingdom of God. I think it's an incredibly apt image for what happened at St. Bartholomew's the second week of June. We had our annual Arts at Barts Day Camp, our Vacation Bible School. So much of what goes on at Vacation Bible School from the outside might seem like sheer silliness. Yes, there are some scripture lessons. There certainly are some gospel-themed songs. But aside from that, it's things like building spiderweb obstacle courses and charging through them as quickly as possible, having Nerf gun wars in the church sanctuary or water balloon fights out on the grounds. There's lots of giggling and splashing and playing and all around silliness. And one might wonder, what does this have to do with God and with Jesus? My answer would be everything. It's the mustard seeds. If you ask most people who have a rich life of faith for however long it might be, perhaps they were converted in early childhood, perhaps adolescence, perhaps later adulthood. If you ask them what the moment or moments that led to that are, they usually aren't big and dramatic. As a matter of fact, they're often so small and sublime, they could easily escape the notice of anyone but the person who was touched by them. It could be a single word, a single smile, a single twist of a phrase, even momentary eye contact from somebody who is so clearly loving them in Christ in a way they've never experienced before. These are the kinds of things that happen all over the place in an environment like a vacation Bible school and so many others. So even if outwardly it looks nothing like the dramatic, sublime, spiritually rich things that we associate with church, with God, with Jesus, it often doesn't matter. The job of us as Jesus followers is to spread the little mustard seeds that we have at our disposal everywhere we go. Some of them will look outwardly spiritual, most of them probably won't. But nonetheless, this is how the kingdom of God spreads. This is how the word of Christ becomes planted in the hearts of others and grows into something that overtakes everything in and around them.